Voll schade. <laughs> Peter likes Peter's to make an arrival, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so welcome to the Yorkshire Dales. We're um, glamping this one. Oh dear. Toilet tent's proper fell there. But we're in the we're in the bell tent. I'll show the setup in a bit. But um, yeah, what an entrance, Peter. So you've probably seen Gareth and Peter on quite a few of our videos. That's because they're friends of ours. We like to camp with them. Um, they come along on most of our group camps as well. Yeah, both a giant pain in the ass. <laughs> um, this is the first one that Gareth's been on since is uh, hip hop, isn't it? It is, yes. Thought we'd drag him out and then uh, take him for a long walk as well. <laughs> it's quite funny because when he got told he needed a hip operation, we, we literally rocked up at his house mm. just after he got back to the doctor's. So. Here's a picture of Gareth with the good news, look. <laughs> it looks highly amused. And um, just to excuse the road noise. Uh, Peter, Peter's, um, yeah, Peter's just Peter, really. <laughs> <laughs> that was eventful. <laughs> I can't think of anything good so, to say. So Peter, you're really boring. <laughs> but Peter, Peter likes to rib me about stuff and he, um, as does Gareth, but Peter was giving me some grief about the videos because I say, um, a lot. It's one of those words, um. So, uh, <laughs> I took one of his videos and did this with it. So, 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 so Gareth's just seen some sheep and he's racing to them. I'm not sure what he's going to do. He's seen them go through the gate like a wolf. Oh, there they are over there. Dan Peter left the gate open and all the sheep started just coming into the field. So uh, not a lot to show you really. But yeah, Peter's um, just put his tent up, but he's sleeping in the car. We've got toilet slash shower tent there and then the bell tent with a diesel heater. It's on the outside this time. You have to excuse the yellow, it's a bit of an experiment, but the diesel heater's underneath there. Exhaust coming out the side. Hot air duct is uh, coming out there, so running it off a power bank. Not set up at all yet, but um, it's very, very windy. Zoe's just dropped a bottle. <laughs> in the mud. <laughs> in the mud. Yeah, so just gonna have a few drinks and get some grub on the go. It's gonna get dark soon, so. Uh, Weather's proper, proper crap. Look at this. So we've been wanting to do like a winter hot tent campsite camp for ages. I think we mentioned to this to Gareth about three years ago, and uh, just wanted to take a big tent, stick a diesel heater in it, get a load of people in, drinks, food, that sort of thing, and uh, oh, it just works so well, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it's amazing for a group camp because, especially when it's raining outside and. You would have been out around the fire, but then you can't. So then you'd all end up in separate tents, and then it just ruins the group camp. Doesn't yeah, it? So it I mean, perfectly. we knew it was going to kind of be wet, wet and windy, but we, you know, it's a pain in the ass to dry and sort out when you get home. But when you're there, yeah, three days in your living room, hundred <laughs> percent worth it. And as Zoe said, it's actually warmer than our uh, warmer house. than our house. <laughs> the fire's about to be lit, so we've got the tulip stove. Tulip stove there. Hey, it's just still in the bloody in. bin bag, you pillet. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Christ's sake. Good job I'm here. Okay, it's not about to be lit just yet. See, <laughs> you, you amateur. What are you doing? Right, so the wood's in, and Peter's got extreme weird light in the fire blowtorch. Right, like that. <laughs> Look at it. So, G's at the beach. <laughs> got his sun cream on. And uh, the fire's actually going now, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Good. <coughs> we knew full well that once we'd lit the fire, uh, it was going to start raining. He gave it on and off, I think. And uh, it's just the reality of winter camping. But what's the alternative? Stay at home. I know. We cooked our tea in the rain, and yeah, you just have to, don't you? Get on with it, and then go in and get dry. I wish I'd cooked it in the tent now, but it's um, it was warm. We sat there in t-shirts. Well, I certainly was anyway. And yeah, it's... it was really hot in the tent. I think at the most it got up to about 28 degrees, something like that. Which, which is ridiculous, isn't it? That's like a really hot <laughs> summer's day. That yeah. diesel here is absolutely awesome. I oh, they're phenomenal. Yeah. I don't know why anyone would like not have one in winter. It's just so clean and easy to use. So everyone's just chilling in the tent at the moment, drinking. Cheers. Bit drinking going over there. Drinking going over here. <coughs> and here, yep. 
going down well. Gee's first drink since he's had his. Um, it is, yes. His third drink. Testicle up. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Heap operation. <laughs> yes, it's his first camp and his uh, first drink out. Lady said there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> He <laughs> <laughs> told me once to put heating oil on my testicles. So mm -hmm. if you know what that does, put it in the comments because we don't. Generally, G, G read in his instructions for his boiler don't put heating oil on your testicles because what's he well, do? No, we don't know. No, we don't know. So if you know, so we will both. Yeah, put it put, it in, the, put it put it in the comments. <laughs> I'll do it. Thanks. Yeah. And continuing around the tent and ignoring all that rant. <laughs> More drinking going on over here. Well, was <laughs> when I enjoyed that as well. I was trying to do. Earlier on the way here, I was in the car and I was, I was eating my pies. I had like tikka slice pies, and Zoe said, "Do you know what? Every time I smell pies, I think of you." I was like, "Oh fucking thanks." What <laughs> <laughs> more of an insult? And then she said, "She smelled this funny smell." And I was like, "She's like, oh, it stinks. That sheep dip." I went. I think that's actually my new deodorant. <laughs> Sorry? It was a term of endearment that you... if I smell that smell, then it just reminds me of you. What, pies and sheep? Pies and sheep dip. Oh, that's really sheep good, dip it. <laughs> yeah, I feel really special right now. So you won't know this because we never show this bit on film, but when we go on a camp, like a reasonably long journey, Gareth always takes the chicken tikka slice with him. I'm quite used to the smell now because it's in a confined space and yeah, it stinks actually. But... Oh, I want one there. <laughs> They're lovely. But what I was trying to say in a roundabout way was that when I smell that smell, it reminds me of our lovely adventures together. That's not exactly how I articulated it. Yeah, well, how it came out was, when I can smell pies, I think of you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So actually, I was actually crying for the rest of the journey. It was like <laughs> quite insulting. It was meant to be a compliment, but you know. <laughs> yeah, normally Zoe's comments come out as an insult, to be fair, don't they? Sometimes. Nine times out of ten. <laughs> so the temperature in here at the moment is 26.6 degrees. T-shirt. Wow. Yeah. This is like everyone's t-shirts pretty much. Gorgeous. Well, not Gareth. He's still wearing his coat. Yeah, Weirdo. Well, I'm, I'm going to show you the t-shirt. Oh, I don't know how I want to do this. This is especially. It's like a strip team. I know. He did it. Did it. Music. Yeah, tell you what, I don't know what the music is. He's got two on. No. I'll show you the bottom bit so you can see which one I've got on. Oh, I know your surgery yeah. t-shirt. Yeah. So we literally have no idea what to get someone. What do you get someone who's had a hip operation who doesn't like grapes or yeah. or flowers? So I was just strolling on Amazon and saw this hip operation T-shirt. And Gareth doesn't like gore and stuff, so I didn't want to get one with pictures of bones and things on. But saw this one and thought, yeah, nice one. It's funny because he wears it all to all his follow-up appointments and stuff and gets some good feedback on it so we're uh, glad he liked it glad he... even to camp <laughs> yeah he even bought it on camp i don't know if he'll wear it when he's fully recovered but Probably we should we shouldn't be too far away to be honest i'm really yeah. really keen he to could get ceremoniously burn it oh yeah he could <laughs> i'd want my money back there i think so it's eight in the morning we all had a good laugh and a drink and basically we all stayed in our tent because we have a heater on it's like pouring down so we quit from the fire and went inside Peter's up, me at the moment, and I'm watching the farmer because he's just on the road there, and the sheep have just like escaped and run down there. Oh, here comes some more. We're gonna see what Peter's doing. Sat in his car. I've seen him already. Just gonna go wave. <laughs> There's Peter up. <laughs> It is actually 6.5 degrees at the moment out here, a bit cold, but I'm okay. Nice jacket, SJ9s. They're quite warm actually, you've been wearing it most of the night last night. It's a lovely warm, it's like when you're sleeping back outside. The drink is taking that long because it's so windy. Now everyone's up, look, hello. <laughs> Cute morning, look at these for jazzy pyjamas. Oh, and now you can see the writing on the t-shirt for anybody that was in doubt what it actually said last night. <laughs> All right, we decided we're going to have a day fire. So it gives rain tonight, so let's Peter with his blowtorch. G's gone for a poo, and uh, I'm going to do a fry up soon, I think. When I got over my hangover. Lovely day though, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's dry so far, so that's good. Yeah. 
I've got no self control. Literally, every group camp <laughs> that we go on I end up drinking too much. I think I said yeah. to Zoe, I might have to start bringing low alcoholic beer because it's, I'm fine in the evening, I'm having a whale at the time, but the next day I'm just like, oh, and when it's two days in a trot, I suffer big time. I don't do it. No. I just drink to moderation throughout the afternoon and the evening, and I'm fine the next morning. <laughs> Here we go, recce. That should sort the hangover out. Right, so Graham and Liz arrived on camp, they're all set up. Me, Peter, Zoe and Gareth are going trekking up in the hills. Sorry G, about to start filming there. I'm filming. Hello, I'm filming you, filming me. Uh, just going to go up the top somewhere. Go on. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll finish and let you do your video. Go on then. Cut. Oh, me doing one. Cut. Oh. Do you reckon anyone's ever got the foot stuck down there when they've been walking over? Not looking. I was worth. just about to tell you to be careful. Not to, so I told you to be careful in case you fell down it. You can get your foot through. <laughs> yeah. It's an accident waiting to happen, that is. For the old and infirm. Sorry, I don't know why I was pointing at you then. Yeah, so we're going, uh, going somewhere up there, I think. If we can manage it. Oh, I think that's the path there. Nice views from the top. You can see all the campsite down the bottom there. It's quite high up. It's pretty. <laughs> And the bridge is over there. Knackered. And we're all here in the mud and the bog. <laughs> so we've come off from the path over near that wall, straight across the middle of a, a bumpy field, um, looking for something interesting. Oh, what's that? There's like a, a line through there. I don't know what that's all about. It's like a dent in the ground. Well, that is interesting. That is interesting. <laughs> oh. We are finding something interesting. Look, waterfall over there. If I stay still, I'll crop you in. That's quite cool. They're all taking the piss because I said the line was interesting, mainly Peter. Uh, but he's going to go and film the waterfall now. The interesting waterfall. So be sure to check out his video for a good view on the waterfall. And Gareth's there, look. Peter nearly castrated himself just then. Gonna see if we can get down into the valley because we've had a look and it's just a, it's just like a cliff edge on there. Alright, this this bit should be entertaining. <laughs> Zoe, capture it from a different angle. This is what you do with your friends when they've just had a hip operation yeah. and then they're out for their first walk. Funny because this wasn't on the list. No, no, funny that isn't it? <sighs> Did it? <laughs> Born for you, what is? Sorry to disappoint, but well, I would not over here. Going over on the top of a waterfall. Uh, it's scary, isn't it, when it's really slippy? Over, well done. <laughs> We're all over, yay! <laughs> Safe. <laughs> yeah, so that's actually turned out to be a nice, uh, nice little walk. With lots of little waterfalls and people climbing over things. Rivers, lines, 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 lines. Some lines here as well. Look, two, look, two lines. Count them. Wow. Two lines. So we may have painted Gareth in a bad light, really, as in like looking like an old giffer. Well, he did it to himself, really. <laughs> in fairness, <laughs> he's been told strategically to, or categorically, not to overdo it in the next sort of nine, twelve months. And we want him back out wild camping because he. He went on a few wild camps with us and then he got told about the hip and everyone was like, oh, really crap. So it's just one of those unfortunate things. I don't think it's an age thing as such. It's just, um, he actually thought it was his knee. No, no pain in the hip at all. It was all in the knee, but his knee's fine and his hip's been done. So we're, we're trying to, you know, get him back out wild camping and stuff because yeah. he absolutely Soon loves it. Soon he'll be like a gazelle running around with his backpack on and climbing up and down the mountains. <laughs> you don't know what a gazelle is, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking more like a, a rhinoceros. <laughs> Who lives in a barn like this? Maybe. You get your eyes off them, Peter. They're all running away from him now. They they are. Over the gate and that's it. They're recognising. <laughs> that one with black legs. Yeah, odd one. That one's out. attractive, isn't it, Gareth? It is, yeah. Looks like it's got stockings on. Back at the camp now. That river's going down. When we got here, it was um, well, it was higher than what it is now. And Zoe's uh, desperate for a drink, so I think that's the first thing she's going to be doing: getting a drink. Peter's going for a wash down there. 
So we actually bought a shower on this trip with all good intentions to actually have, have a wash. A shower. Yeah. <laughs> which we have done in the past, don't get oh, me yeah. wrong. Yeah. But it was cold and I didn't want to get naked. And they had and... the idea of <laughs> Well the, the idea was I was gonna move the diesel heater so it blew hot air into the shower tent, but that was all pegged out and and then he got a bit drunk and just went, I can't be bothered, so then was, it would like be freezing cold. I was, yeah, I was that hung over in the morning. It's just like, no. It's a good system <laughs> I and mean, it's hot water, but I yeah. uh, just, yeah, maybe I'll save it for the summertime, but <laughs> I, did, I did, really didn't want to take my clothes off. I didn't feel like I was sweating at all through the trip. You don't do when it's cold, this is the thing. Yeah. There we go, sat cooking my burgers. I'm my lonesome, out in the rain, flipping weather. I don't know if you can see it, but it, yeah, it is raining. Dear, oh dear, things we do, eh? Come to Yorkshire, they said. Piddling it down, innit? It is horrible. Horrible out there. Really grim. Nothing much interesting going on, really. Talk, talking about, talking about food. Right, so same again, set off, started out by the fire, then it just rained and rained, so everybody came in the tent, so we've been chatting, drinking, setting the world to rights, so you know how it goes. <laughs> and now it's, um, Gav said, way too much to drink and it's time for bed. Oh, I look so wasted. Yeah, you look so red. <laughs> it's hot in here, hot yeah. tent, these are here. <laughs> yeah, it's been really warm actually, <laughs> it's been nice, but 18 degrees, it's like way warmer than our house. Very nice. But yeah, we'll um, see you in the morning. Utter carnage this morning. Water and shite everywhere. River's higher than it was. A lot of rain through the night, so we're just all chilled out in there and got drunk. Suffering again this morning. Uh, brew time. On to the fun bit now. Bloody hate this bit. Packing away. Well, at least not raining yet. The tent's wet, so. Um, that should be fun drawing that once we get home. Peter's just gone. Um, yeah, probably about another hour or two and uh, should be sorted. So I just want to say an absolute massive thank you to Gareth, Peter, Graham, Liz, Lee and Louise who come along with Camp and Zoe as well. Thanks for coming Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of them you didn't see on camera, the little bit of camera shy, so they weren't on there very much. But yes, it would not have been the same without you guys. It was really fun. And uh, you guys at home, thank you for watching. So we want to pin yeah, let them do a bit of the That's the keeper. <laughs>